So Monty and I have tested over a dozen of vertical ergonomic mices over the last few months. I'm going to give you my top five. Number five goes to this, the Deluxe Rechargeable Wireless Ergonomic Mouse. Does this thing look familiar to you? It's kind of a knockoff and I'll get to it. Now the hand angle for this product is 57 degrees, which is a little above average. There's a minimal finish on this product, so the entire thing feels really, really smooth. So smooth it's kind of annoying to pick up and readjust sometimes. Now Deluxe has added a LED strip along the top. Color can't be customized, it can be turned off, but because this is a white mouse. It looks really nice from my perspective. This mouse has four buttons and a silent scroll wheel, but the scroll wheel, despite being smooth, isn't speed sensitive, so you just look through a web page. But like most mice, these thumb buttons will not work in Mac OS, unless you buy third party software, which is just not great. And the other odd thing is that the buttons are below the thumb. Most mice have it above. It takes a bit of getting used to. There is a button to change your DPI levels, and they range from 800 to about 1600, so not great. This mouse doesn't use AA batteries, it has an internal 500 milliamp hour battery. You can Connect it using a dongle as well as two different Bluetooth connections. The battery will last a couple months and recharging is actually very, very quick. Now most mices have a cover on the bottom, but this Deluxe doesn't, so it's easy to access the dongle, but the dongle does feel a little too loose. This blinky red thing works on every single surface I've tested on except glass, and if you're wondering, well, about half the mice don't actually work on glass either, so not a big deal, but if you got a glass desk, yeah, get a mouse pad. I know that might ruin the aesthetic of your glass desk, but you know, I'm sorry. When it comes to this product, the handling is below average, but because it has all these ways to connect to different computers, it makes it better than the average mouse. Now remember I said this product was a knockoff? It has the exact same shape as the Logitech's MX Vertical. There is almost no difference to the physical shape. The buttons are in slightly different locations, but the shells are exactly the same. So keep that in mind. It's not as good as this Logitech one, but it is a fraction of that price, and you kind of get most of the same functionality. In general, if you're looking for a well-performing, budget-friendly, 30-ish dollar vertical ergonomic mouse, this deluxe thing, right, Monty, isn't a bad choice. But if you're looking for something better, well, buy any of the other <laughs> four mices I'm gonna cover in this uh, video. Number four goes to this thing. It's the Proto Arc EM11. This is one of the coolest looking vertical mice in my collection. It works quite well, but there is a hiccup in the design that kind of bothers me. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that this thing is shaped like a oven mitt. It's like you're going to grab something hot. There's a strip of LED lights along the top and the button that's usually reserved for DPI settings allows you to change the color of the lights. This mouse has three DPI settings, 800 to 1600 and to toggle it is down here. The entire mouse is covered with a soft rubber coating. The palm will rest along this ridged textured area and the thumb section is kind of indented. All that to say that this mouse is fairly easy to pick up. The main buttons are silent, which is just awesome. Like, but these thumb buttons, are not. And again, these buttons do not work on a Mac out of the box. Scroll wheel has a subtle click to it, but not speed sensitive. And like number five, it has an internal battery. You can connect it via dongle as well as two different Bluetooth connections. But unlike some of the more expensive mice like this thing, you can't connect a USB-C cable to your computer and just use it like a regular wired mouse. All right, let's talk about the one thing that bothers me about this product. It has to do with this curve right here. And it's kind of just specific to me, but here's what I mean. When I'm mousing around, I tend to pick up my mouse a lot to readjust where the pointer is. Now the grip on this product isn't bad, but it's not the best. So I tend to tip the mouse inward to reposition it really quickly on a table. And because I do that, this mouse kind of hinges on two points. And so it just feels really awkward. But again, that might be just me. If you tip it to the outside, you're not gonna have that problem. Honestly, this product works very well. The cherry on top if, is that it looks pretty damn cool. The contrast between the black and the orange buttons, you've got that white strip at the top and the unique design makes this more like a uh, museum piece for your computer setup. Price-wise, it's about 30% less than my top picks while offering just a fraction less of the functionality. So this is a good deal. And when it comes to my scoring, I weigh everything kind of differently. If you want a full list, I'll include that in the description section below or the comments. Ergonomics account for about 30 to 35% of the score, which might be too low. If you've got lots of wrist strain, mice with a 57 degree hand angle might not be enough. If you want the product with the least amount of twisting for your forearm for wrist you know, relief, you want to get one of these mice. They're from Evoluent. This is the mouse four. This is the vertical mouse D. Don't get this one get this one. But it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. This is about $125. I paid close to $180 after a conversion. The only reason why I'm recommending is that the hand angle is almost 90 degrees. It's almost vertical, so you get the least amount of twisting on your forearm. But the computing experience is kind of where it falls flat. The buttons feel really greasy. They do have an extra set of buttons, but they tend to overclick. And so when I'm moving it around, I'm always right clicking. It's annoying. But if all you're looking is for hand angle, this is the one to get. Monty, you want to know what number three is? Man, your eyes are goopy. It's this one, the Kensington Vertical Ergonomic Mouse. 
mouse. Now out of the 13 different mice I've tested, this uh, ergonomic mouse is gonna be the best bang for your buck. Now if you look online, there's actually two versions. You got the pro version and the regular version. Now both these products got the same score for different reasons, but from my perspective, I think the normal ergo mouse is better. Now the hand position for this product is 47 degrees. So it's a little shallower than average, but if you're thinking about dabbling into uh, ergonomic mice and you're going from a normal mouse, the hand position isn't that much different. So it's easier to get used to. Now when it comes to hand position, the majority of these mice put your hand into like a V position. So picking things up is a little clumsy. With this Kensington product, it's more like a C. And so being able to pick up your mouse easily to readjust it is just really awesome. And another neat thing is that there's this lip for your pinky, so your pinky's not dragging all over the place. Helps with the hand strength just a little bit. Now the DPI settings between these two products are different. One has five, one has four. You would assume that the pro version has five. That's not the case. This normal version has DPI settings from 800 to 2400, whereas in this one tops out at 1600. Make that make sense, Kensington. Now the main body of the mouse has a soft rubber coating to it. The black version of the mice have a nice matte finish. I would stay away from the white version because the white version, uh, the buttons get really, really greasy over time. Thumb buttons for this product are very large. This was number five, like <laughs> night and day. Now one of the biggest differences is that Kensington supports this one with software and doesn't do anything with this. But here's the kicker, the software is not good. Now with the software, I assume I'd be able to customize these thumb buttons, but you can't. These buttons you can kind of customize. The scroll wheel on this can be customized. Like honestly, crappy software is almost worse than having no software from my perspective, because Kensington software doesn't even compare to the top two uh, mice in this video. Buttons are not silent, so you're gonna sound like you're doing Morse code all day. Now the scroll wheel on both mices have a uh, Subtle click to them. The mouse is powered by a single AA battery. You connect this mouse using a nano receiver. Now again, do not get confused between the pro version and the normal version. The normal version is better than the pro version. It has a higher DPI setting. It's $15 cheaper, and this thing actually works on a glass surface. The pro version does not. So Kensington something ain't math. In. So that was the best budget mice. The next two, they're a little more expensive. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe if you're planning on getting a vertical mouse, use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer, so I don't care which mouse you get, just as long as you use my links. Only if you found my content helpful in helping you choose. Number two goes to this thing, the Logitech Lift. This is one of Logitech's newer mice. I was a little skeptical about it at first, mostly because it felt a little too small. But after using it on the road for a while, it's actually really good because it's smaller. So the question I have for you guys is, is this a $75 product? Now when it comes to Logitech accessories, their strength comes from the hardware and the software. Out of the dozen of mice I've tested, thumb buttons do not work on a Mac out of the box. That's terrible. But if you download Logi Plus options, you get to use those buttons on your Mac as well as customize them to different applications. The lift has a 57 degree hand angle, so it does keep a good job of keeping your hand in a neutral position. The palm half of the product has a soft rubber coating and some texture, but the front half is very, very smooth. So picking up this product is a little clumsy at times. This mouse has the two standard main buttons, thumb buttons, scroll wheel clicks, as well as the DPI setting button. Out of the 13 or so mice I've tested, this one has a speed scroll and it is phenomenal. I love it. The buttons are silent clicks so that nobody can judge how much you're working by your uh, mouse clicks. This mouse is powered by one AA battery. You can also pair it via Bluetooth. So it just makes using this product between my desktop and my laptop at home and in the office just so much easier. Another really nice thing about this product is that the cover at the bottom is magnetic. I cannot tell you how annoyed I got while testing these mice having to dig into the bottom of the mouse for these little freaking dongles. Sensor for this product doesn't work on glass, unfortunately. And the last thing I'll mention is that with the DPI settings, you can really tune the range and the sensitivity of it. It goes from like 400 to 4,000, and I think you go in increments of 100. So you can be very specific to how sensitive you want this mouse to be. So is this lift worth $75? What do you guys think? I think so. You do get what you pay for. You get a quality product with quality software, and it just works really well. I <laughs> love that sound. And the best ergonomic mouse I've used is this one. This is the Logitech MX Vertical Advanced. It's been my go-to for the last few months and yeah, I've used it a bit. Like the Logitech Lift, this is just a winning combination between the actual hardware and the software. The hand angle for this product is 57 degrees. It's the same as the Logitech Lift. Size of this mouse is a bit larger. According to Logitech, it's meant for uh, medium to large hands, whereas the Lift is for small to medium hands. The mouse has a strong soft rubber coating around the entire thing, so picking up your mouse is very, very easy. Like you could get a really good grip on this. Now, if you've got the normal buttons at the top, you got thumb buttons down here. Scroll wheel is a bit loud for my liking, and it doesn't have the speed wheel like you would find on the uh, Logitech Lift. 
Now, if you buy this mouse and you use it with uh, Logi Plush options or whatever Logitech software is, you can reprogram these buttons to do whatever you want in whatever application. And that is just like, that is just so nice. Now, here's something that really boggles my mind about these uh, mice. On the iPad, you have more customization options with mice than you do with Mac OS. Make that make sense, Apple. This mouse has a built-in battery. You're gonna have to charge it every couple of months. But if the power runs out on this mouse, you just plug it in, plug it into your computer, and it's gonna charge and allow you to use it as a wired mouse. Like, that is just so... What's the word I'm looking for, Monty? What's the word? Smart. You can use three different Bluetooth connections for this device. And if all else fails, just use one of the unifying receivers. The only downside is that there's no space to store this. But why would you use it? You've got Bluetooth and if all else fails, just plug it into your computer. If I wasn't a reviewer, I would probably stick with this mouse or maybe this uh, ProtoArc. Probably this one, because this one's more useful. But it doesn't look as cool. Here's my biggest gripe about this product. It's really expensive. It's the third most expensive mice out of the 12 that I tested. It's in the triple digits. Last thing I'll say is that if you're stuck between getting my number two or my number one pick, the biggest thing is hand size. If you've got smaller hands, go with the lift. If you've got bigger hands, go with the uh, MX Vertical Advanced. First time watching my videos, hit the subscribe button so that every single time Monty shows up the internet with a tie, you get notified. Thanks for watching.